Hi everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. Good to see so many people come out here tonight for the 2013 Tulsa Mayoral Forum. Uh, Tulsa Mayor Dewey Bartlett. Mark. Former City Councilor Bill Christensen. Mark. And former Tulsa Mayor Kathy Taylor. Welcome all three of you there. So I think I distinguish myself based upon the work I did as mayor, making the tough decisions, sometimes in tough times, in reducing crime, in making an impact on the economy, downtown revitalization, and holding my hand up for education with the mayor's mentoring to the max program, with after school programs, and with directed gang intervention strategies. It's proven leadership, and that's how I think I distinguish myself. I think the thing I learned very early on in my uh, career as a city councilor is that you had to work with the other elected officials, you had to listen to the citizens, and you had to work closely with the city employees. So I think uh, I, I'm, I'm happy that there are nonpartisan elections this year because I think it enfranchises more citizens to participate in the process. Over the years on the council, the 10 years I was on the council, I worked very closely with the other councilors. The only way we, and I say we, I don't want to use the word I. I didn't do it. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. We did this. It's a team effort. So when I became mayor, we had a tough situation. We made very, very, very difficult decisions. We didn't do it by putting our finger in the air and seeing where the political winds are blowing. We did it to see what was in the best interest of our city. We did it without a tax increase. And it became a very, very good effort. We restored the helicopters. We put the most important tool that the police department has back in the air, both of them. We were able to turn the lights back on in our expressway system. It's a public safety issue. But we also were able to reestablish relationships that had been burned between the city of Tulsa and our city, cities around our community, our suburbs, our friends, and our neighbors in Tulsa County. We also reestablished relationships with the elected officials at our county government that had not been uh, kept in, in good place. I believe we need boots on the ground in states like California to go, you know, door to door for the small business, for the big business, whatever it may be. But we need to, we need to sell Tulsa. You know, we're in this rut. We do the same thing over and over again with economic development, and we need to start thinking outside the box. You know, you need to lay out the red carpet instead of the red tape. And there's lots, even on my campaign trail, there are people still coming up to me and saying, I couldn't open my business. It wasn't, you know, it, it took so long and there was this and there was that. So we need to streamline, streamline that whole process. We asked the simple question, which would amaze me that no one had asked this question before. Nobody, literally. No mayor, no councilor, no city council. Where's our money coming from? How are we collecting it? And are they doing a good job? It comes from the Oklahoma Tax Commission. Are they doing a good job? No, they were doing an abysmal job. So we got very, very aggressive in making certain that our sales taxes were being picked up, and we did a very good job of that. That, to me, is a much, much better way to look at how we can survive on the taxes that we have to live by at, at this point in our future. Not necessarily look at raising taxes. Raising taxes, to me, is not an answer. And when I was mayor, we opened the doors to City Hall to the unions. We enabled every one, of, every one of the seven unions that represented workers in our city to attend our management meetings. So there were no secrets. And I remember meeting Public Works uh, employees who said, I've been here for 30 years and I've never even seen a mayor. So I think it is important to develop a sense of trust and I think it is important that our city employees be paid a fair wage and that we not discriminate among employees and simply shove one group to the side because we think they don't have the same legal negotiating ability. Everybody on the city team is vitally important to deliver the services that you need. Okay, great questions tonight. Thank you, OU Tulsa, for uh, the facility tonight, the League of Women Voters in Metropolitan uh, Tulsa. And most of all, thank you, candidates, tonight. Very important. I, I really appreciate that. And don't forget, get out and vote June 11th.